pizzeria. It's about four kilometers away from the city and this is how it went. Big boy, go. How are the potatoes? Uh, delightful. It's got that good herb life. Nice chimichurri. Chimichurri is good. It's like heavy. And delicious. Crispiness level of the potatoes. Pretty crispy. Pretty crispy. How, what would you rate them? <laughs> <laughs> Out of ten. Nine. Nine. They're hot. Margarita. Nice. Good sauce. Good sauce. And what do you rate it on the scale of basic margarita pizza level? Pretty good. Nice. Better than Superfly? The crust isn't as chewy. Not as traditional. Too more crunchy. Oh my good. Nice. We also have more drinks on the way, right? Yeah, who cares? Why not? <laughs> the wines here, they only have wine here, not cocktails, and they are delicious. James is on the prosciutto life next. This was kind of my choice, but also guided by James, who was, thought it was a nice in-between vegetarian and non-vegetarian life. I'll be interested how I find this, because I haven't had prosciutto or any kind of meat in quite a while, other than fish. What do you think, James? Yum? Yeah, it's good. Still pretty light. They are nice light pizzas here, hey. I'm not gonna feel like I'm gonna be in the bathroom for five days. That's always a positive. We also have this green salad, which we didn't expect to be just a green salad. We thought it was going to be like cooked greens with herbs on it, but that's okay. Holly's highlight of the night. <laughs> Do you know what sauce this is on top of this? Uh, ranch. A blood orange ranch. <laughs> Ranch isn't like my thing, it's not my favorite thing, but it is a nice ranch. It's not like too mayo-y and creamy and gross, it's got that little bit of citrus to make it kind of like a bit different. But it is just lettuce with some like slightly citrusy mayo sauce on it. It's okay. It's okay. Not my favorite, but it's okay. Food complete at Little G. I am very full. You're very full? Mm. James I did... One and a half pizzas. He did take on, brick. take on a few pizzas there. Mm. It was delicious though. Yeah, it was really good. Everything would, was good. Would, uh, would recommend. Yeah, I mean it wasn't your traditional Italian pizza. We do go to a place called Superfly, which we love, which is probably more authentic Italian pizzas, but this was light and still delicious. Good wine. 
Yeah, and it and it is crispy and well cooked and tasty and light. Rest in peace to your mouth, though. James feels like it was cutting up his mouth. I didn't really feel like my mouth was getting cut up. Yeah, but you had like two pizzas. <laughs> maybe it's just the like one and a half pizzas that started to wear at you at the end. Yeah, maybe. Oh well. The potatoes though, they were delicious. Salad, like the I don't I think that was just a special for tonight, but probably wouldn't bother getting that again. It's yeah, like the salad wasn't great. Like we thought it was going to be cooked greens, um, but it wasn't. But that's okay. Like it was only ten dollars, so all good. Potatoes were delicious, and pizzas were great. Oh. Wine was nice. Exactly. We feel like we've celebrated Friday. Celebrated Friday well. We wanted to try the desserts because they have really tasty-looking desserts. But James tapped out, and I was like, oh, I don't think I can tackle that one on my own. Oh well, next time. But anyways, next time. So that was our eating local experience at Little G, just four kilometers out from the city in Brisbane. So if you're around, definitely go check it out. The vibe is fantastic. Great place for friends and drinks. And it's time for us to go home, go to bed, and we will see you next time.